Welcome to Clone Questions Live, episode 36, the AM edition, the morning edition at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time every Friday. Now, we're live on Instagram as well. Let's see here. Pick a number. We're going to do a giveaway. We're not going to forget the giveaway this episode to win. Please share this as you guys join. And... Let us know. Please, please share. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Please share as you join. We're going to chat a little bit to get today. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. Please share this as you join and let us know where you're joining in from. And we're not going to get where you're joining from. Sorry, I'm just typing this out. And we're not going to forget the uh, the giveaway of the giveaway of the 14 day quick guide been forgetting those in the morning do them in the evening but uh pick a number between 1 and 420 whoever gets closest at the end of this episode without going over with the random number generator will win a free copy of the 14 day quick guide from clonecoach.com terping monster what's going on shut the front door good morning we got Tor- toronto Canada here. We got Big Walt in the building. What's going on? Stay hungry. Good morning, everybody. Had a lot, a lot, a lot of comments, a lot of uh, input on that uh, latest post. Who caught that latest post with the white fuzz on the cubes? Let me know in the chat. Who caught that latest post of the fuzz on top of the cubes? We got Chubby's Cannabis from Adams, Massachusetts. Nice. Welcome, welcome. St. Louis, Louisiana. What's going on? We got Canada in the house. Good morning, 528 Kev. 5280 Kev, sorry. Got Phoenix. We got Germany, Moax. Good morning. From Germany. I, I assume it's not morning there. It's morning here. We got Sacramento. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. We got the big island of Hawaii in the house. We got North Michigan Exotics, a clone coach team member who's out there killing it, keeping me keeping me updated with all the, the progressions in the garden, killing it out there. If anybody is not sure about joining the clone coach team, just go ask another team member. You'll spot them by their killer fucking clones, just like North Michigan Exotics. My man, so did you did you flat top your mother plants yet? Did you flat top them? Did you give them that that buzz cut, that flat across haircut yet? Did you do that? Almost evening in Germany. Nice, nice. Well, hopefully, hopefully you got something to burn in Germany. Germany's got some relaxed laws now, right? As far as cannabis goes, like, like personal use and stuff. You guys can hear the, the pups, the pups barking at everything this morning, all the activity. We got Michigan. We got Texas in the house. Nice. Welcome. North Michigan says, ask me all day. You uh, you you gave the haircut last night. That's great. Look, I'll tell you a story about, you know, flat topping mother plants, overgrown mother plants. So um, I was at this nursery and what did we end up with? We ended up with overgrown mother plants because they just grew over the weekend. And with the protocols, if you didn't, if you didn't harvest the clones at day 14, when they're already booming, day 17, day 21, so on and so forth, they just get super crazy overgrown. Then you're just like dealing with a massive hedge. But there was a delay because of holidays and stuff or something. And uh, we weren't going to cut for one week. So instead of just letting overgrown mother plant continue to become overgrown when you're not going to, if it's not scheduled to be cut, I literally just literally took a hedge clipper because the hedges were huge. Literally took a hedge clipper and just shh. Like you would a hedge, you just flat across the top, took off a bunch of material, cleaned up the bottom third, and just basically left like a third worth of of nodes. And everything at the top ideally was like the same uh, node development size, right? Instead of like, you know, one big thick stem here and a baby little node here. No, as even as possible so that the regrowth was as even as possible. And guys, in two weeks, the two-week turnaround, (laughs) 
I, there's a video clip that I love that I took where I just like move the table and you just see this like wave of like uniform clones just swaying back and forth, all tops, just tops, tops, tops. Just it was that next batch of clones was like the best batch of clones to harvest. To the uniformity, the like the size, like everything was like the best batch of clones to harvest. So if you have overgrown mother plants or if your mother plants are after getting cloned are still like shaped upwards or round or tall consider cutting across leaving a a, a section of regrowth like nodes right all that regrowth is going to happen from there clean up the bottoms just for that airflow and you'll get a beautiful beautiful canopy of clones we got mississippi coming along coming along coming online nicely hopefully it goes wrecked soon nice who would have thought, huh? Roy Batito says, I want to be in the team representing the Middle East. You could be on the team easily by going to clonecoach.com. What do you mean? Do you want to be like an affiliate? Is that what you mean out there? Because that's possible also. There is an affiliate program for clonecoach.com. And if you're you're part of the team and you're preaching it and you have an audience or you're you you got a, a network or you know people you know that would benefit. You could join the uh, Clone Coach Affiliate Program and make a commission while you pass on savings as well. Let's see here. Bonfire CBD from Costa Rica. Buenos dias. What's going on? Got Shark Bite in the house. Killing it with the content. Who out there, though, uh, caught that, caught that, um, the post about the fuzz? Thick white fuzz. There are some cra- there are some funny comments, funny responses there. Someone said like that's the Don King of, of, of plugs or something like that. <laughs> like the, the hair, like the Don King hair. Um, you know, I think someone's like, yeah, four flex plugs can always come with a little something extra. Um, a bunch of things. There was there is a lot of man. I haven't responded to any of those yet. Kind of letting it cook up a bit. There's probably 130 um, comments on that post, not including the responses from the story. Let's see here. How many was it? 140 comments. So who knows what I'm talking about here? That that white fuzz that's on top of the cubes. Who saw the post? So you can go check it on the profile right now. Um, all that white fuzz growing on tops growing on top of the rooting plugs we got some comments like the milk the milky way fermentation early christmas decorations Let's see here pincher bugs uh, the the oh from trap jesus of course those are don king clones completely normal <laughs> it's just hilarious uh let's see here Someone says, that's what it looked like when I used Froop, uh, Foop Clone Gel. So mycorrhizae. Trichoderma. The secret is, guys, it's 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 trichoderma. And although it looks obvious, you know, like it's a cotton ball on top of your rooting plug, like it visually is like not, not appealing, right? But there's good and bad bacteria. And... If there's no good bacteria to defend the space from being colonized by bad bacteria, then the bad bacteria will take over. The pathogens will take over. So, you know, this this is not a negative to your rhizosphere, your root zone, the the microbial activity that's happening there. It's not anything that's working against you. It's just visually it's it's very, um, you know, annoying. But where does it stem from? These plugs are actually a cocoa peat based plug. So there's peat in them as well, like peat moss. And that's where it stems from in combination with the humidity and the right environment, right? That triggers any sort of pathogen mold growth, right? Um, but trichoderma is naturally occurring in, in forests, you know, in that humid area with all that peat and that bark and all that stuff. That's where it's naturally occurring. But like everything else, guys, there's good and bad. 
this is one that's actually on your side, but just visually, it's really, you know, annoying and not something you really want to see. But it's not like it's going against you or your rising sphere or your plant or or giving you any sort of negative pathogens. Um, it's actually taking up the space and that alone defends it from, you know, helps defend against an, an invasion of, of bad pathogens that, are, that will cause detrimental effects to, to you and your clones. So it's interesting, but uh, no idea. Maybe some new type of cotton ball tech. That's hilarious. Cotton ball tech. <laughs> all, the, all these techs. What do you guys think about that? So on, let's see. Mr. Newhart says, no idea. Maybe some new type of cotton ball tech. I thought that was funny. Hey, shout out to Drip Hydro in the live. What's going on? Let me catch up on this chat here. D D M M what D M McCormick says how many clones per shift do you estimate a full staff can cut and plug given an eight hour shift? How many people is in a full staff? How many people in a full staff for you? I'll give you some numbers though. If you have the in, in, in my nurseries, the goal has always always been to have rock star rockstar nursery team members okay where you know i i tell them the week's going to look the same every week and may become monotonous or repetitive but that's a good thing that's what we're here to do every week we're going to cut every week you're going to clean every week you're going to you know this do this step do that step every monday is that every tuesday is that um but we want the rock stars to be able to kind of pick up any slack that comes and make it a nice and easy going work environment where it's not stressful, you're not staying late, you're not worrying what you know what to do this week, what's what what's going on. You know the rhythm, you know the you know the 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 the, the sequence of things. But myself and two other rock stars, we were doing twenty five hundred to three thousand clones. Yeah, because it'd be oh, there's eleven fifty two per level because we're doing seventy twos. So one two three, yeah, about three thousand clones in an eight hour shift. Just cutting and plugging um, three three people in total. So, thousand clones a day per person is a long you know full day. But you know with the with the rounded numbers, that should be where you uh, could could be able to hang out in. Bonfire CBD says looking back to that fuzz says looking like it wanted to crawl out it's from the root riots. Let's see beneficials. Yeah, Bonfire CBD is beneficial. It's harmless. White fuzz is good fuzz, says Bonfire CBD. 14, 17, says, Mikey says, my J went out. It did. Too much talking. Too much talking. But that's the good side of it, too. DM McCormick. So, yeah, I hope hopefully that helps there. Um, but I'd be curious to know how many people you're, is in your staff or you're envisioning and what kind of production you're trying to get done. Why don't we start there? You know, what are you trying to do 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 clones in a day? Usually... After about four or five thousand clones in a day, most people start to separate the work day in two, which would be a cut day, and then the following day would be a plug day. Um, keep in mind, plugging is significantly faster, probably the fastest step in in the whole process, as you know, compared to cutting and trimming the stems. Plugging is fast. You could plug a tray of 50 clones. If Once again, if you're a rock star, five minutes, seven minutes, you know, and if you have all the material there, all the trays prepped and ready where you're just grabbing another one, all the, the stems, material, all the everything you need, replacement scalpels at arm's reach, one person could knock out, you know, a tray of 50 clones every five minutes, just one afternoon, because 100 clones, um, Every 10, 15 minutes, 400 clones an hour, maybe a little bit more plugging. So it's it's a lot faster to plug than it is to cut and clean up the stems. So that's why I always, uh, for me, the ratio is two to one. I always have two cutters to one plugger. So on the work day, two cutters, first thing, just start start cutting. Start stacking up the cups filled with the trimmed up stems just stacking up cups, right? Cutting cutting down the mother plants, harvesting the clones. The third person is either doing the prep work with the trays, 
prep work with um, the domes, any plastic, any sanitizing that needs to be done um, and kind of getting the back end of things going. If there's any, you know, veg work to do or whatever, that's that prep work. Cause you know, once again, they don't, there's nothing for them to plug right now. And if, as they're, as we're stacking up cups, that plugging person is going to burn through those cups faster than we could replace them at a certain rate. So we want to stack them up first. And then, you know, halfway through the morning, you could start plugging. Boom. They start plugging. There's more cuts coming, lunch hits, whatever you come back, still the two to one ratio. Once you're getting close to the end, you go to a two, you, you, you switch one person from cutting to plugging. So now you got two pluggers and one cutter finishing up the, the last of the cuts and the cleanup of the mother plant area while two people are plugging. And then when that mother plant area is done by this person, you join the team and you finish plugging everything, labeling everything, cleaning up everything. There is your clone nursery production day with three people starting with two here. One person getting it going, and then boom, we shift over here to two to one, and then all three to wrap up the day. It worked for for me, you know, and for the team for for a long time. So, you know, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Let's see here. We got yeah, the DM McCormick says thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bonfire CBD says what's up, campfire, campfire from Maine. What's going on? DM McCormick said, this is great intel. Appreciate you, coach. My pleasure. If you really want to show some appreciation, join the clone coach team. Become a part of the team. All right? It's like like anything else. The team, you can go in the locker room. You get the playbook. You could, you could be in the practices. You could learn. You could strive. You could work together for a goal as a team. If you're not part of the team, you're on the sidelines. <laughs> you know? You're either on the team or you're on the sidelines. So, Bonfire. Campfire and bonfire, the campfire and bonfire, the fires, fire squared over here. Happy Friday, campfire. What's up? What's going on? You're seeing it, man. We got clone questions live, episode 36, the morning edition. Um, we're talking about that trichoderma buildup on the uh, on the tops of the cubes, stemming from peat, the peat moss, and the cocoa peat based plugs. Um, and then you know it, it touches on beneficial bacteria right like i'm i'm team uh microbes you know i'm not sterile i don't i don't run sterile um i like microbes and the, the rhizosphere and what microbes could do is incredible it's like there's, there's really nothing that could, could replace that um you know just like even in ourselves right like all the, the bacteria in our gut and our in our in our body has such a profound effect and could alter even alter your state of mind, your actions. It could literally take hold of, of different parts of your body, your organs. That's the power of bacteria. And the root zone in plants ha ha has that ability to have its own version of it. It's like, why, why wouldn't you lean into that and, and let those microbes unlock nutrients and unlock enzymes and and proteins and activity and growth and stimulating you know metabolism um yeah benefit I, i'm team microbes all the way who out there who out there is uh team microbes as well or who who's running sterile and uh i mean it's not like you can't run sterile don't get me wrong but you know you're either on one side or the other and this is the side i'm on Campfire May says, have you released your gel yet to the public? Great question. Who wants to know, who wants an update on the clone coach rooting hormone? Let me know in the chat. Who wants an update on the clone coach rooting hormone? I'm upset at myself for not like recording more of what I am doing um, to chip away at this, at this project here. But who wants an update? Who wants an update on the clone coach rooting hormone? Cause that's what I've been working on all week. So, um, you know, I could definitely dive into, uh, what, what, what's going on, what it's like, what the process is, what, what the uh, outlook looks like, what the time frame looks like, you know, what's going on. So who wants to know? All right. 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 5280 Kev says, can you mix Michael Jordan in your clone in your rooting gel? You technically can, but the thing with rooting gels is they're susceptible to any sort of bacterial growth 
And that's why you want to, you know, not have any cross contamination. So introducing something that is um, like a like a mycorrhiza or anything activity um, could be prone to 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 more contamination. So um, I think like food clone gel has it in there, but you know, you you got to know what you're, you're 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 doing. But we could hit on gel. We could hit on gel formulations and stuff. So all right, all right it looks like everybody wants to hear a little bit about the uh, about the uh, rooting gel. So. First of all, been down this journey, right? Trying to bring a rooting gel to market. Did some trials. There's some. There's some good and bad trials out there. But I'm. I'm just obsessing about, you know, the product, the formulation. Um, you know what the different. What, what's different? What's better? How to you know bring the most value to everybody on the team, and. Um, you know, so I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging. And I, I'm working with a, a EPA uh, consultant firm to register EPA products because rooting hormones are EPA registered, right? So that's working with them for like formulations, like technical EPA stuff, what's possible. But I kind of stumbled on something different. It's not a rooting gel. It's, it's multiple uses, ability to adjust concentration to whatever you really need, to whatever type of material you're working with, stubborn, rooting, whatever. And you're not paying for 98 to 99% water, which, however, I sliced it and diced it, looking at other manufacturers, looking at third party manufacturers, looking at what I could manufacture myself. But if it's EPA registered, it ha- the, the product needs to be manufactured at an EPA registered location, manufacturing location. So you can't just like do something out the garage or out of a random warehouse um, that ma- that gel would need to be manufactured there. But even still, man, there's good gel formulations, right? And like, I think the latest one I sent out was a good combination and you know if you guys want to know what the ratio was um if, if you guys want to know what the ratio was i could let you guys know too because i don't think i'm moving basically i'm i don't think i'm moving forward with the clone gel all right i'm not as of now and it may be my adhd bouncing a bit but i'm trying to find the best solution and keep keep analyzing what I'm working at to find the best solution. And the gel is still 98, 99% and very, very, very little, less than 1% of left, less than half of 1% of active ingredient is, is in these um, products, less than half a percent of active ingredient in 98 to 99% water. And look, that's, the application method. And that's just what it needs because of the, the gelling kind of, powder that gets added to make that water into gel and gel is good for you know a lot of things you know the gel format i've used gel for years it's not knocking gel but i found and i'm working on a formulation and that's going to be the next samples that i'm getting out so here's just a sneak peek here's just a tiny sneak peek you guys are seeing it first okay some powder like i said Times are, are, are tough for all growers right now. And like trying to put my best foot forward would not be, will be will, I would have to do my best to avoid trying to sell 98% water in a container, right? And because there's even manufacturing that now you need, you know, bigger containers to manufacture, like bigger tubs, bigger piping, pumps, like more expensive equipment because of the bulk quantity of like, you know, big gels and shit. But what I'm working on is a water-soluble rooting hormone that could be applied in three to four different ways and have an adjust and, and have a, an ability to adjust concentration to whatever you need and whatever application method you get. So you're basically getting the most bang for your buck, and you're not paying for 98 percent water, and it's not going to be 98 percent talc, 99 percent talc like rooting powders, right? Rooting powders are 99% talc, like talc, that's it, powder. And, you know, less than 1% active ingredient. And you could only dip the basal stem 
uh, in the powder. And that's the only application method you have. That's it. And you can't adjust the concentration. You have to pick a concentration and that's what you're running with. So I'm trying to solve that problem, the concentration problem, I'm trying to solve the application method problem, I'm trying to solve the, the, the not paying for 99% inert ingredients and giving you the best bang for your buck. So that's, uh, that's what I, that's what I could say about the, the product itself so far. But um, like I said, the EPA process to bring a rooting hormone to market is an easy year. It's a year. So it's a year and $30,000 before even any products made. 30 grand and a year before any products made just to register a new product with the EPA. That's, uh, that's what I'm looking at. But that's a short-term versus long-term thinking, right? If I do do that, then I'll be one of not many that has a, you know, custom formulated EPA registered product that could go on for decades, you know, and that's, that's what I'm looking at. And, you know, the year, the year itself is not that long, you know, 30 G's, 30 G's, uh, yeah, I don't got that laying around, you know, I have to put in some more work to, to fund that. But I ha I'll have a, here's the other little tidbit. Who knows about vitamin hormone horticultural products? The exemption specifically, the EPA exemption for vitamin hormone horticultural products. Who knows about that? Let me know in the chat. Has any, does anybody know about the EPA exemption for uh, plant growth regulators when they're considered a vitamin hormone horticultural product. Let me catch up on the chat while you guys let me know there. Let me catch up on the chat while you guys let me know if you guys know about that vitamin hormone horticultural product. Let's see, we got Campfire saying, so glad I asked about the gel. Woo, woo. Campfire says, dip the cuts in a powder. I like this. No, that's like the talc, the talc method. That's what like a rooting powder is. This wouldn't be that. This would be concentrate. So you really shouldn't do that. That'll be the educational part, right? Like teaching people, this is not normal rooting powder. You can't just, it's not ready to use, basically. Rooting powder is ready to use and you can only apply it to the stem. This is going to be concentrate that needs to be diluted. And even, that reminds me of two, two more tidbits. Please remind me in the chat. Making your own rooting powder and making your own gel. Who wants to know what I've found out about manufacturing rooting powder, ready to use rooting powder and rooting gel. Let me know in the chat. Let me catch up on the chat too. Uh, Bonfire says, sounds like a game changer. Can you use it as a rooting additive too? Yes, it would be able to be fed into basically every 14 days via foliar, via roots, via drip down foliar spray into the root zone um, as the stem soak, multiple, multiple uses. Johnny Weed says, why can't I get my clones to root in my easy cloners? Will your guide help me? Johnny Weed, for a free easy cloner mini guide, go to my Instagram page, scroll over to guides. There's a little guide section. Looks like a little um, spreadsheet icon. And there's a free easy cloner guide there. Check it out. Let me catch up on the chat here. Let's see here. All right. Who could remind me what I said right before the... Uh, Making your own gel, making your own powder. I got distracted. I got distracted. Oh, vitamin hormone products. There's an exemption for vitamin hormone products according to the EPA. One of the major exemptions that you have to follow, one of the rules you have to follow is that your, your product has to be labeled accordingly and it, it's saying that it can't be used on food crops. So that's the only, one of, one of the major differences is the other one has to be it's non-toxic still. And it's unconscious and it's, you know, ready to use form. But the vitamin hormone products is an exempt. So there might, there's going to be the short term strategy for myself is to uh, create that product to help fund the long term food use product, which takes longer time and a lot more money. So stay tuned for that. There's going to be samples. There's going to be samples coming out soon. So if you want samples of this new rooting concentrate, um, Shoot me DMs, stay tuned, stay posted on the lives, you know, 
do what you got to do. I may run a little contest or something too for the next one, but there's going to be samples coming soon and then hopefully product. And then hopefully the year will be here like that and we'll be good to go. All right. So who wants to hear about what I learned of making your own? Oh, we got this video request here. Sorry. Let me try to accept that there. I know you've been trying to join while I've been rambling here. I got to take some notes for tonight. EPA registration, uh, concentrate level, water versus gel. Let's see here. All right. So stay tuned, though, guys. I'm going to have samples. I'm going to have um, hopefully products soon. And that's not going to be a gel. It's going to be something different, but it's going to be something better. It's going to be something better. All right. Hey, uh, whoever's trying to go live here with me says you're, you don't got a good connection or something. So we're going to move on. We're going to move on from that. I think I just tried one more time. If it doesn't connect now, then it's not going to connect. We got El Paso, Texas representing Indio says, hell yeah, I want to try that out. Stay tuned, guys. Everybody that's on the team, everybody that's staying tuned to Clone Coach, You'll be the first to know when I have some samples ready. And I want to have some samples ready here ASAP. ASAP. So back to it. Who wants to learn what I what I learned of ready-to-use powders and gels and why I've made a big effort in my in my you know journey here to bring a product to market to address those two problems. Prodigy by uh, fit was that say fourteen or something. Prodigy by fourteen says, "When do your clone questions video get uploaded to YouTube after going live here?" They're supposed to get uploaded that same weekend, but I'm uh, a couple episodes behind because platform wasn't uploading. That gave me some errors, but um, I do everything, so um, <laughs> this should go up this weekend. So with, within the week, for sure, within the week. And I'm catching up on the ones that I'm missing. So I'm a few episodes behind. But um, you could always catch the full-length versions here on Instagram as well. They're all, they're all on my, my page there. Every week, boom, you're seeing just a random, a random uh, thumbnail of the live. So you could catch every single one of them there here on Instagram. Let's see here, Forge Line Kennel says, if the clones in my tray are half-rooted, is it okay to put the ones rooted first to pot the ones rooted first it's okay but i mean if you're if you're only getting 50 percent rooting you know go to clonecoach.com and you get 100 percent rooting and you transplant everything at the same time i mean i don't like to make habits of things that shouldn't be happening you know you shouldn't have to transplant half of the clones first and then other half let in person they should all start the same all root at the same time all get transplanted at the same time if that's not happening you got you to trace your steps back. If you just want the prop, you just want your problem solved, you want the solutions, just go to clonecoach.com and grab the SOPs. Follow that and all your problems are solved. So making your own rooting powder. If you guys, what I've been analyzing like crazy is the, the percentages on the ingredients. There's active ingredients and then there's either other ingredients or inert ingredients or usually other ingredients but look at these percentages and i've been like looking at charts and stuff like remembering decimal points and stuff because all these ready to use products have less than one percent concentration of active ingredient which is usually iba indo 3 butyric acid so for example clonix it's 0.31 so that's a third of 1% um, active ingredient concentration for that ready-to-use product. And that's usually um, the average for, for you know, semi-hardwood cuttings that, you know, we're kind of, you know, all, all used to here. So, you know, about, about 0 0.3, 0, you know, about a third of percent is for active ingredient for ready-to-use product is normal. That ends up being about 3,000 ppm, Okay. 3,000 ppm of solution of IBA in that solution. And if you were to make it, you know, into a liter, that's about three grams of active ingredient into one liter 
of finished solution. If you have three grams of active ingredient, one liter of water and 1% of, you know, powder to make that water into gel. So 98, you know, so all that water, um, you only have three grams of active ingredient in that liter of solution. So that's how it breaks down to there. Some of the strongest rooting hormones that I've seen like powder wise um, is like 0.8, which is like 8,000 ppm, which is like eight grams per liter. So in that one liter of solution, you have eight grams of active uh, ingredient, which is IBA. So that's that's the normal. That's that's kind of what we're what we're used to. Uh, but with the powder, ninety nine percent of that that other ninety nine point two percent is talc, like agricultural, like general use, like just bulk baby powder talc. That's you know, that's the inert shit. So like you have, you have a a a, a kilogram, a kilo of rooting powder, you know. 32 ounces of rooting powder. There's only eight grams of, of active ingredient powder in there. And the rest of the 99.2% powder is just inert pal- talc. <laughs> that's what I'm realizing. I'm like, wow, dude, that's, it only gives you one option. You can't adjust concentration. You can't adjust methods. You know, you can't do this, do that. So it's a little bit tough, you know, but same thing with the gel. The gel it's 90, 98% water because 1% usually, that's like the formula I'm finding, but 1% is um, like usually like carbopole or another another thickening agent, another gelling agent that gets added to the water and makes that, that gel form, you know, through, through mixing and through high shear, you know, mixing. Um, but it's usually 1% of the volume. So if you've got a kilo... It's like 10 grams, 10 grams of 10 grams of uh, the, the thickening gel powder, three grams of endo three butyric and 98 <laughs> percent rest of water. And that's a rooting gel, like a liter of a rooting gel concentrate. So it's it's what I've realized in like formulation wise. And it's interesting. And, you know, it's normal and it's worked. And we've all used it for years and it, it works fantastic. People get results. But, you know. It's always good to do a, a little bit of disruption just to stand out, you know, and at, you know, worst case scenario, it's just the clone coach team members like you guys that are supporting and um, that works for me. Let me catch up on the chat here and see lunatic Javi says, I'd love to learn coach. Teach me your ways. Got three decent, three decent sized gorilla platinum females and veg ready to make clones and some clonics sitting there. would love to hear more from you. If you just want the, lunatic Javi, go to clonecoach.com. Grab the Clone Coach SOPs, all of my knowledge, step by step, to do's, tips, tricks, everything to to get the results is all packaged up there. So, if you want if you want to get that, if you want to learn, want to invest in yourself, it'd be the best two hundred ninety seven dollars you ever spent in your garden because that shit stays with you forever. As long as you're making clones, you're getting paid back. So, check it out there. Morgan McFerrin says, who made the 4x4P plug you trialed at one point? iHort. iHort made those, um, the kind of like spongy, uh, you know, 4x4, like kind of rock wool substitutes for like maintaining the same type of media. And um, they work really cool. They work really good. I mean, that's once again, the manufacturing of those products is is pretty simple as well who wants to know a little bit about manufacturing the 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 substrates the rooting substrates um that are like intact the ones that are intact the ones that aren't uh you know those cocoa peat based ones who wants to know a little bit about that and don't forget y'all enter your guess as a number between 1 and 420 just like i have there in the pinned post at the end of this episode which is about 15 minutes we're going to do a giveaway of the free a free clone coach a free 14-day quick guide from clonecoach.com. So we're going to pick a random number. We're going to see who gets closest without going over in the chat here. And we're going to pick our winner. And I'll send you a DM with discount code for a free copy of your 14-day quick guide. That coffee is already cold. <laughs> it's been cold. But manufacturing rooting media, There's, I mean, I don't know all the – I mean, I don't do it, so I don't know everything. But the basics of what I've learned so far is it's it's – a blend of cocoa, peat, some like biochar, like general biochar, 
and a polymer. The polymer, the levels of the polymer will determine how spongy a material is and how like intact does it stay. So there's some pre-filled trays that without any roots, if you take the cube out, you could like break it apart like dirt, like this very, very little polymer holding that media together. That four by four um, cube that you were mentioning earlier for like teens and transplants, there's a lot of polymer in there. Just like um, like root riot plugs that are like individual plugs that never like break apart or make a mess or like, you know, like break down like, like, like dirt, like soil. There's a lot of polymer holding that structure together, holding the cocoa and the peat base together. I don't know the ratios of the polymer and stuff to manufacture it, but it's it's probably less than five total ingredients, you know, cocoa, peat, uh, polymer, biochar, maybe something else, a stabilizer or something to really formulate these, these things. So it's like I'm finding out a lot of interesting things about um, the manufacturing of some of the products that I want to bring to market just to determine whether it's worth it or not to manufacture it myself or go down that path to bring it to market or, or how just how the whole process works. I just like to get into what's happening on the back end and really understanding it, you know. So that's a, that's a manufacturing journey, uh, research journey that I've been on learning how to manufacture, reading hormones, reading products, the active ingredients, EPA registration, um, you know, the whole process of, of bringing a new product to market, the cost, the time frame, ratios, formulators, blenders, third parties, and all that stuff. Um, you know, what's going to be best for the market. And that's, that's where I've been chugging away at, chugging away at, but I will have samples soon, which I'm excited for. Um, and it's, it's going to be really cool. And, you know, just so you guys know, it's going to be available to team members first. So if you're not on the team, you're not going to get the first dibs at what the team is producing, what, what, what's made for the team. All right, guys, team members come first. Clone Coach team members come first. How do you become a team member? Go to clonecoach.com, grab the Clone Coach SOPs. You'll be on the team. You'll get best clones ever in 14 days, and you're getting all the updates as they become available from Clone Coach. So that'll be the way to do it. Clone Coach team members come first. It'll be available on the site. Um, limited quantities, but it's we're going to start off with a trial. So stay tuned to do a sample trial, get all that feedback, get all that, get all the uh, all the good pictures in there and the results and the data, how fast, how easy, how cheap, how much you're going to save. If you switch over, just just the savings alone, it'd be it'd be dumb not to. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. For the rooting hormone, let me put it to you this way. Like I mentioned earlier, in a gallon, in a gallon of rooting gel at 0.3%, there is just under 12 grams of active ingredient in that gallon of rooting gel. 12 grams of active ingredient. I plan to have all in my smallest container, there's gonna be 20 grams of acting active ingredient for a fraction of the price of the gallon. So you'll get more active ingredient for a fraction of the price and a fraction of the volume. You know, you be able to hold it in your hand 20, you know, twice as much active ingredient for a fraction of the price. So that's what I'm excited for. Just stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. But get your guesses in. Number between one and 420. Catch up on the chat here. Morgan's Morgan McFern says, appreciate it, dude. Been using your system for over a year now and have been killing it. Pulled, pulling about 10,000 clones per month and seen 9 to 12 days roots at 90% plus week after week. Big love. Morgan McFerrin, I appreciate that feedback. Everybody that isn't sure, just listen to that. A $297 course is helping Morgan McFerrin pull about 10,000 clones per month and seen roots in 9 to 12 days, 90% plus success rate week after week after week. Morgan, what was life like before the before the clone coach uh, SOPs, and do you think it's worth the investment? Because I, these SOPs could take you from one tray to a hundred trays. It scales. So Morgan, even if you go to twenty thousand clones, 
the methods will scale with you. You don't need to reinvest and reinvent the wheel. It's scalable on every end, you know? Fantastic to hear that, Morgan. That's awesome. Let's see here. Zani Fire said, did you already mention what the cotton candy puffs on the clones were? I did. We talked about that in the beginning of the episode. It's basically trichoderma from the peat in the peat and cocoa-based uh, rooting plugs. So that peat moss in there is naturally the current trichoderma along with the right environment. Basically, it's it's good bacteria in your rhizosphere, not bad bacteria. It's visually, visually super out there. So not nice for most people. But don't be scared, but you want to suppress it. Any kind of fungicide, any kind of oxidizing, quick killing fungicide like hydrogen peroxide even at a basic level or zero tall um, 2.0. I mean, I, I avoid that because I'm doing constant sprays. So usually it gets avoided. Don't really have to deal with it. Yeah, guys, this has been a really good episode. I hope you guys join tonight as well. 530 Pacific Standard Time. I hope you tell your friends to join tonight. We're going to do another episode of Clone Questions Live and I like doing two now because we're hitting two different time zones, right? So, but we're going to cover some of the same topics as far as the trichoderma plugs. Um, you know, we see what other questions come in through the chat. We're going to talk about uh, rooting hormones, you know, kind of my journey through this, trying to bring a product to market. Um, and whatever other questions you guys may have to talk about. And if you guys don't know, I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube as well. I've got the full-length versions of Clone Questions Live. I've got a handful of other uh, content as well on there um, just for you to consume more. If you want to just Google Clone Coach, you'll find a bunch of uh, podcast episodes that I've done. I've done about a dozen of them. Latest one was with uh, Danny Danko from um, the previous editor of High Times. Um, Grow Bud Yourself. I was on his podcast. I've done a bunch. Mr. Grow It about a year ago. So just Google Clone Coach. You can find a lot more. A lot more content out there to, to consume and get some tips and tricks. But if you just want the results, like you heard earlier, you just want the results, go to clonecoach.com and grab the SOPs. It'll get you results immediately. Next next batch of clones, you got results. <laughs> Boom, investment paid back. So we're getting close to the end here, guys. We're going to need to get everybody's guesses for the 14-day quick guide. So enter a number between 1 and 420 in the chat for your chance to win Right now on this episode, a free copy of the 14-day quick guide from clonecoach.com, which is a one-page snippet, 14-day coverage snippet of the full SOP. And the full SOP is two or three PDF documents, about 12 pages each, two or three training video, three training videos, two training videos, um, every step-by-step -step instruction, a coaching call as well with myself. Half hour coaching calls included in that package as well. So to really ensure you get every question answered and of course, email support in case anything pops up. So that's the clone coach SOP package. Get your guesses in, get your guesses in campfire. He's guessing 122. What are you guys guessing? Number between one and 420. Number between one and 420. We're going to do it right now. We're going to find a random number generator. Number between one and 420. Get your guesses in now. Get your guesses in now because I'm about to hit that generate button. Get your guesses in now. Number between 1 and 420. I want to thank everybody for joining this episode of Clone Questions Live Morning Edition. I want to thank everybody that shared this live as they joined. It's much appreciated. And for everybody else, excuse me, for everybody else that uh, just joined or anything like that, you could also join tonight, 530 Pacific Standard Time on Instagram Live for the normal evening edition of Clone Questions Live. Come on, you just joined and we're ending the live. I hopped on at 9.30. Kwan was a, a, a free coaching call I just did before this one, um, discussing the possibilities of, the kind of the revenue possibilities of his um, spare space. And uh, Kwan, I... I re-ran the numbers, did about 100 square feet of mother plants at the $50 clone price, and you got a $1.8 million business. 1.8. So if you guys want to find out what, what your space is worth as far as nursery goes, go to clonecoach.com, click Million Dollar Nursery. You'll have a free calculator there. 
Enter the square footage of your mother plant space, your team plant space, and the price you plan to sell your clones, and it will calculate the yearly revenue potential of your space. So you want to find out if you got yourself a million dollar nursery, go to clonecoach.com and click million dollar nursery for the free calculator. Lunatic Javi says, the Mr. Grow It video podcast with you was awesome. Keep up the hard work, family. Appreciate it. Campfire says, thank you for taking your time to educate, coach. This is what I do, man. This is what I do. I don't have, just so you guys know, I don't have another job. I quit my last uh, cultivation uh, job that I was managing the, the veg department uh, a little over a year ago, no, about a year ago. Um, after a month or two of starting Clone Coach, I was tired of doing that grind and, you know, doing a cannabis startup thing. And I, I left them and it's been Clone Coach ever since. So I appreciate everybody that's joined the team. I appreciate all the support. I'm doing my best to pr- provide value to you guys. I hope you guys, uh, you know, see that and support. And, uh, you know, we're just getting started. We're one year in, you know, we're just getting started. So let's find our winner here. We're number between one and 420. All guesses already in. Sorry, that's a cutoff there. The random number this week is going to be it's 66. Let's go find our winner. 66, 145. Nope, 320. Nope, 106, 163. Nope, 20. 20 is in the lead. Six. Nope, 119, 300, 122. Nope, the random number this week is 66. 36. That's closest so far, but I mean, it may get beaten pretty quick. 321. Nope. The random number this week is 66. 222, 275. Nope, nope, nope. And if you're just entering your guesses now, you're too late, y'all. Join tonight for another chance to win. Let me because I'm going upwards in the chat, so I don't see any new comments right now. 320. Nope. Let's see here. 66 is this week's random number for this episode. 210. Nope. 36 is in the lead so far. I mean, who could beat 36? Let's see here. Let's see. Scrolling up to the chat. Find ourselves a winner. 66, 122. Nope. 71, just over. 8, a little bit too low. 66 is a random number. 420, 429. Now it's a number between 1 and 420, so that wouldn't have worked. 411, 297, 227. 254, 121, 273. Nope. The random number this week is 66, y'all. 276, 365, 240. A lot of big numbers. 36 is in the lead so far. 167, 156, 191, 99, 211, 328, 333, 22, 69. Just over. Just over. 66, so 36 takes it. 36 takes it. Where, where is it at here? Where is it at? 36 takes it, which was Chronic something. Chronic Skywalker. Chronic Skywalker. Congratulations. You won this, this giveaway for the 14 Day Quick Guide. I'm going to send you a DM with the discount code. Your guess of 36 was closest to 66 for this give- giveaway. So join tonight. Fun questions live. We're going to do it again. If you didn't win right now, you have another chance to win tonight. Thank you, for everybody, for joining. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.